Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to come on today and make a shabby chic pocket um, with you guys that uh, will be in the journal that I've been working on. Um, I have this, I'm not sure where I got it because it was kind of a torn piece. And so I just cut off the part at the top that um, I couldn't use. And I thought this part would make a really pretty pocket. So I went ahead and cut a five inch piece and I'm gonna be putting it over here. Um, so this is what I've been doing. I've been trying to put in the, you know, the side ruffles and things like that. Um, so it's not like I haven't been doing much, it's just, these things take a while. And so, um, but anyway, I've been working. I've got a couple things in that I've just done on my own, um, but not a lot. I need to do lots of, of printing, um, but it's coming along. I've, I've glued some things in that we've done together. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So you want to make sure that you have the right side up. Okay, so this is the back. I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to sew across it. Let me move my sewing machine in real quick. Okay, and I know you can't see a lot of it, but I'm just going to fold that top part down and stitch across it. Well, let's see. Okay. made a weird noise my sewing machine did. I hope everything's going fine. Oopsie, went too far. That's okay. It'll be, it'll be glued down. But... And then when that happens, it gets stuck down in there. My old sewing machine would have made a giant knot, so that's good anyway. Okay, so we just sewed the bottom. I mean the top just across. And then where that little fold is, and there's a little bit hanging over, I'm just going to take and cut that off. I don't know that it would show, but I'm going to cut it off just to make sure. I've been sitting here working this morning on the trims, and I was watching the Christmas Cottage, I think is what it's called movie on YouTube and it's about Thomas Kincaid. I didn't realize that. It was good. Okay, so now I'm going to zigzag and the reason I'm zigzagging is, let's see, I think I'll go a little bit wider. The reason I'm zigzagging is to give something for my Fabri-Tac to really um, attach to. I don't know if that's necessary, but that's why I'm doing it. It is not easy zigzagging on the edge. It wants to pull the paper, uh, fabric in, but I mean, it, it's, it's possible, but not necessarily easy. So, just wanna make sure you're staying over far enough that it's not grabbing the edge of your fabric and pulling it in. See, I think I'm going to stop there and I'm going to have this part of my fabric hanging off the page. So I'm going to go ahead and do my across zigzag here. Enough. 
and I'm just going up to the line that I made um, sewing across the top. Okay, so I have the zigzag going here, here, and here. It does kind of pucker the fabric up. I don't know if, you know, like you, you know, tightly held it, if it might help that, or if it would just cause your sewing machine to mess up, I don't know, but it works out. So I'm just gonna cut the strings off. Okay. Pretty sure this is gonna be a short video. I mean, it should be. I, I'm, I'm almost done already, <laughs> so, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue just where um, we've sewn. So did any of you guys go out and do anything fun last night? Um, it's first day of the year right now. Uh, Actually, I don't think I will upload this till tomorrow because I think I already uploaded a video this morning. Did I? I don't know. Isn't that crazy? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going crazy. Oh gosh. Oh, that was kind of lucky. Kind of not. Okay, just get that wiped off real quick. And luckily I have a paper towel here. Okay, so then I'm going to lay it. I've been trying to put things kind of more over to this that side so that when my pages turn, there isn't so much in the way so that they maybe hopefully lay a little flatter. Let's see where that... Okay. Okay, and then I wanted to do this with some of my laces that I have found, but I decided that they, I didn't have anything that was pretty enough that wasn't too old. I mean, just this right here to me is so, so pretty, but it's really falling apart. And so I just didn't know, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing with this, but look how pretty it is. And I've got a full runner of it. Not sure where I got it either, but like the little edge on it. So delicate. Very pretty. Um, so yeah, I don't know. And it also doesn't show up very much. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But this ends up really pretty, I think. So... We're going to add some trims to it. Let's see. I have a, a piece of acetate that I've cut to fit down inside. I'm glad I'm doing this because some of that Fabri-Tac is still down on there where it dropped, where I dropped it. Okay. So I have this that I thought I would lay across it. Um, it's almost the full design of the heart. Let's see here. I would rather have the full heart over on this side and trim this side. So that's what we're gonna do, is trimming it off into my trash can. Okay, so that's good. Just straighten that up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to put some Fabri Tac across this to glue it down. I have no idea what will go down inside of the pocket, but um, 
you know, I think it'll end up being really pretty. Try not to drop it this time. Okay, um, and then I'm having fun mixing the creams and like tans and the whites. So we're gonna add some white. Hadn't used this one yet anywhere, so I thought it would be fun to add this trim down at the bottom. So hopefully, I'm gonna kind of pull those apart so I'm getting kind of in between where it needs to be. So I don't know, I think it's I think it's really pretty. Very, very um like feminine and soft, I think. All right, so we're gonna glue that down with Fabri-Tac as well. And I'm just gonna go around each of the little squares to get that stuck down. So, you know, a lot of the things that we've made together, I've gone through and um, tried to find like a little home for them. And I'm at a point where I need to start looking for things to put in a lot of the pockets that I've put in. So I don't think that'll take me too long. And I also need to figure out how I'm going to decorate the front. Isn't that pretty? So I don't know. Imagine is this moving easily. And there's something down inside, but you'll be able to kind of see it a little bit. I think it'll be really pretty. I have no idea what's going to go down inside yet, but anyway, I'm going to stick that back down in there just until I want to make sure that the Fabri-Tac is dry. And I'm okay with the Fabri-Tac seeping through down here. That's fine. It just is going to hold the pocket even more. Anyway, so there we go. Very, very quick video, but I think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.